me me now is criminal defense attorney Dwight Pettit, and I spoke to you on Sunday, and in many ways you kind of saw this coming. You are not surprised that this jury is deadlocked. No, I hope that they're able to reach a compromise verdict, where some jurors give up something and maybe reach something on a lesser count. That's my hope, otherwise you're going to have a, a deadlock jury, a hung jury, and you have to do the whole ball game all over again. All right, so let's just say there were a hung, hung jury. The officer, Officer William Porter, would not be compelled to testify if he was not adjudicated. Is that correct? That's correct, because he has his Fifth Amendment constitutional rights against self-incrimination, so they could not force him to testify unless they offered him immunity. So much speculation about this case, always speculation about what is really going on in the jury room, and we really don't know. But when you think about sort of the divide, um, were you, you were surprised at, at first that the jury was picked so quickly, but given the makeup of the jury, you're not surprised that they are at this juncture? No, I'm not surprised, but I've always said the Baltimore City is very conservative when it comes to, uh, to police cases. Uh, and so it may not necessarily be the racial makeup of the jury. It's just a very, very tough question. And uh, Baltimore, as I just said, is, is very conservative. Now, you know, we don't know which counts that might be, uh, which uh, arguments that might be. It may be one holding out. It could be two. It could be several of the jurors. So at this point in time, you just have no idea what's going on in the jury room. We just don't know. All right, Dwight Pettit, thanks for coming thanks and for joining me. me. Thank you.